Hi, I am Ravi Handa, founder of the website handagafanda.com. In this series of videos, what we are going to do is we are going to discuss previous year questions from the CAT exam. And if you are planning to prepare for CAT with just few weeks to go, have a look at our crash course on this particular link. Hi everyone, I am Ravi, Ravi Handa, founder of the website handagafanda.com. Welcome to another solved example on progressions. We are given A1, A2 till A52 are positive integers such that they are increasing. Suppose their arithmetic mean is one less than the arithmetic mean of A2, A3 till 52. So that means that A2 plus A3 till A52, what will be their arithmetic mean? Sum divided by the number of terms which is 51 minus the other one a1 plus a2 plus a3 till a52 divided by 52. So the arithmetic mean of these values is this and it is one lesser than the arithmetic mean from a2 to a52 which is 51 terms. This is what is given to me. Then the largest possible value of a1. Well, I don't know. I'll, I'll try and simplify this. So what will I get? It will become 52A2 minus 51A2. So that will simply be A2 plus 52A3 minus 51A3. So plus A3. Very similarly, 52A4 minus 51A4, 52A5 minus 51A5. So this will go on till A52. But for this minus 51A1, there is no corresponding a1 term here. So this will be minus 51 a1, which is actually nothing else but equal to 51 into 52. That would be the LCM here, which I have taken to the other side. So a little bit better. Now my goal is to maximize this particular value of a1. When will this be maximum? You are subtracting something from this. This is given to me. Let me try and simplify this equation. So this will become 51A1 goes to the other side or A1 will become A2 plus A3 till A52 divided by 51 minus 52. So what I've done is I've divided the entire equation by 51, shifted it to the other side. When will this be maximum? A1 is what we are trying to maximize. This will be maximum when all of these values are also at their peak. All of these values are also maximum. We are given that A52 is 100. We are also given that they are positive integers and we need to take their maximum values. So to take their maximum values, we will consider 52 as 100. Then the previous value, the maximum possible is 99. The previous value maximum possible is 98. And what will be the first term? Well, 52 has become 100, 51 has become 99. So they are getting 48 more than the value here. So A2 will 48 more will become 50 plus 51 till 98. This is going to be my answer. Now to calculate this, this is an AP series. Number of terms in the AP series is 51. Sum of an AP series when you know the first term, the last term is n by 2 into first term plus last term, which is 150. This will be the sum of this series. I am dividing it by 51 minus 52. 51, 51 cancels. 150 divided by 2 is 75. 75 minus 52 gives me the value of 23 and 23 will be my answer. Really complex, really difficult calculations should not be attempted in the exam. But I hope you got the concept involved. If you didn't, I'll suggest that you rewatch this video, understand the calculations that I've done here, understand the assumptions that I've done here, because they might be useful in a future question. Hope you learned something from this. Thank you. Hope you like this video and learned something from it. To learn more, please check out our crash course on this link. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will be releasing many such videos in the near future. Thank you.